leaves are already starting to fall. Oh, we just got into the woods to cut this new vest. Got the camera right here, microphone ready right here. So that's good. I can put the tripod in the in the waist belt. I got my water here. I could even put more more stuff here. I got a cooking pot here and my shovel. A little bit of kit in the back, which is a tarp. I have clothing and a bottle here. Everyday stuff down here. Knife. I wish I could put somewhere else because it's really it's not that safe. I could put it here. There's a extra pocket here. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I got all my molly. And I got a three pouch system. This is too warm for today, but if it, for the e evening this would be good with a poncho and uh and the whole kit for the we could we could set up so many things with these vests. It's very versatile, so let's go get some uh, fire going. How did they grow like that? Anyways, birch bark. And we're gonna split some wood, obviously. It's been raining just for the whole day. And it's a bit wet. Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish it off. That's that one tree today. How come it's like that? I never did that like that. Those are perfect. They haven't been on the ground. I like to find these all around. Oak branches, that's perfect for the Start a fire with the small maple branch. You can see with the buds. That's maple. Yeah, so I just I just sprung um, my machete and, and my saw a big boy in in the waist belt and here with this feature I can use my saw and I can go around do my thing and I can always put it here in between there's like four places I can stuff here so I can work close it's like my knife here it's still here it's not really secure but it's ready to go so now all I can do is open that sucker and give you three logs at the same time it could be cool An old tripod. There we go. Perfect to make fires outdoors. These are amazing. We get a time again. One feather stick is gonna make the birch bark useful because it's gonna take the first flame because everything is wet. I kept this knife unsharpened for all the time I've been using it. You've seen me a lot using me using it and it's a good all round knife. Look at that pop maven. I got the nice split piece here. That's good. Two more like that. A 
made the feather sticks. Okay, it's it's a simple routine to light fires, but there's so much stress sometimes for beginners. It's good to see somebody light a fire and how it gets done. So this is really good for scrapes and you always wanna basically break it apart. And I'm putting it on our platform of wood, which allows air to flow by. Always maximize the surface area which fire can catch. So I'm gonna scrape this part here. Right here. it up. Let's see if it works. Okay, now I'm going to put that back because this is the main thing people do is drop their stuff. Oh, see, I just messed it up. There you go, put that in the center. Now use those feather sticks as dry tinder. On top of it, everything. And use nice little twigs like this. And you can stabilize the whole thing by put it, putting it, making a teepee fire around it. You should have really fast flames. Shouldn't be long. So my fire steel is back in my pocket. Forgot the memory card for my camera, but anyways, I got this set up right. Now I can pull out a bit of water maybe. This is a nice uh, bushcraft kit. I really like using. It's been a while I haven't used it. Mm. In a while, BCB Crusader kit. Tools can get in there. It's pretty amazing. So let's start building this fire up. It's pretty cool. We're gonna make two bannocks with this mix. Pretty small. So let's make sure. Let's make sure it's not too thick. I mean, not too thin. This is going to be all jerky. So I have extra. I got more for sure. I just got to make sure it's really, really solid as a mix. So I'm going to make them get it size really, really thin. Close off any part that's... And I just need a one edge to hold properly. So I'm going to put a stick like this here. So nice point here. One, two. I'm going to make it as slim as possible. That point here, I'm going to put the knife back. Here, right there. Okay. That part should be hardened a bit. So I'm just going to poke it nicely and let it sit next to the fire. Just like that. Bring the fire closer. And this is one small bannock, so that's my favorite, favorite way to make them. Couldn't do them any other way. They're smaller, so they grill really nicely. <laughs> that's almost ready. It here, like that, give it a little bit more. This one is ready actually. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. Open it, that's oh, oh, hey, we gotta have to come over here after, it's amazing. Yeah, that's good, perfect. I mean, it's smoke, mmm, to be a little bit more cooked.
this one is ready. It's fuming. Burn yourself. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Cleaning out the spot, making sure I'm making more ashes. Just a lot of branches, the smallest possible. Put a bit the bigger branches, but finger sized branches. Just making the the back FILB accessory pouch Molly 2 Molly 2 FILB and that straps onto my belt I have it on my belt that here I can put a whole lot of things in it that's the BCD proof hitter kit those are sharpening stones and a whole lot of things that's my camera that's what it's all about And what I'm about to use, a trifold military shovel. Ah, thank you for watching. Oh, I just want to show you this kit. Very cool, very cool. I got the clip ready right here. Right here, let's do this. That's good. This is with the Molly 2. Very nice backpack that I have. That's all there is to it. Everything is here. Really, really cool. Um, it's gonna be my book. I can put my books here. A couple of things. Uh, first aid kit here. As I said, it's more and more. More small accessories, sharpening stones, you got your keys, wallet, stuff like that. Closed well. And yeah, um, I won't tell you the brand, but any, anyways, get yourself a nice vest. It's worth to get one because you can put your shovel and everything, the fires stop. But we have an, I have an extra cooking pot here, so I mean, I can put a whole lot of things. I can even have a nice cooking setup with a MSR Dragonfly in this pocket right here, which I always have in it. And I mean, configured to go out with this vest to have nice meals, fishing, and stuff like that. Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I can bring out like a small box of fishing stuff and just open it, do my stuff, put it back here, and have everything on me. It's pretty cool. So I can run around. Take it easy. So, um, 
Try to take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Because uh, I might hurt myself. You don't want that. Take care. Yeah. Occasionally you need to wear a kind of boot that gives you more confidence when you're walking with heavier packs, more stability for your the whole foot, for your arc and for your 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 ankle. So these give you a lot of support and protection all around for rocks and stuff like that, wood. Nice leather. It's the hand wagged Alaskan. Uh, can't you know see anything wrong with these boots. It's pretty much one piece right here and I think they're the they're the most light versatile boots that I've ever had solid as well so check this out